We asked you uh, on Twitter whether or not the handball is a penalty. It's close, but yes, 53% said yes, 47% uh, said no. Uh, this is what Dalic had to say after the game. The Croatian coach said, I never speak about referees, but let me say this. In a final, you don't give such a penalty, but it doesn't diminish France's victory. They deserve to win, and I congratulate them. Uh, we asked friend of the show, Peter Walton, former Premier League referee, what he thought of the decision. He said, this is not a handball offence. The ball has hit the arm of the defender. However, the arm is in a natural position. The ball has travelled a very short distance and it does not look a deliberate act. Looking at a slow motion replay, it should be for a point of context only. Context is in full speed. The referee took too long at the monitor to convince me this was a clear and obvious error. Yeah, he wasn't sure. That's why he stood at that monitor for as long as he, he, he did. Uh, and the problem here with, with penalty kicks across the board is referees are making it up as they go along, right? The handball law, they are making up game by game because it's ambiguous. It's an ambiguous law and it is so open to interpretation, it is scary. I thought this was never a penalty kick in a million years, primarily because as a player in front of Perisic, the hand comes up, not above his head, but here in the act of jumping. When you descend, the hand comes down. Yes, it comes out, but you're not thinking as a player, I must keep my hands in a certain position. You have to have your hands at a certain... You can't have them tucked away. You can't have them behind you. You can't jump with them behind you. They have to be somewhere. And he doesn't have enough... And everybody's saying, oh, the hand came out. He doesn't have enough time. He'd have to be the greatest goalkeeper in the world to know the player in front is going to miss the header and he makes that reaction. I just think it was... Honestly, I was shocked it was given. Absolutely shocked. Uh, I don't think it's handball. It changed the game as well because Croatia were, at that point were dominating. They just got the equaliser. I yeah. think it's a big decision from the referee. Uh, and the fact that he went, he went to the monitor for a long time, he went to walk away and then and went, went back, back again to have yeah. another look. So somebody obviously said something and he said, have a look at this angle. Wh wherever angle you look at, it's not deliberate. I don't think it's a penalty. See, here's the problem. And so I, I don't think it's a penalty, right? And when you see it at full speed, it's not a penalty. And the referee saw it at full speed, and it wasn't a penalty. And so then we go to VAR. You have the system in place. And when I've been saying all along, if you have the system in place, use it. Sure. So, okay, they use the system. The system here now put doubt in the referee's mind. Right. His first judgment was, this is not a penalty. Then you go and see it, and I think what Peter Walton say, said it there said it best. At slow motion, it changes the perspective mm. of what you think of this call. Because at slow motion, you lose what it is, the perception of the distance between Blaise Matuidi and Ivan Perisic. And so you're thinking there is a chance for Perisic to go up and then come down and then play the ball. Right. And this doesn't happen like that at full speed. So if you go into the monitor and you see it and you observe it, it is very difficult for a referee to then say, no, it's not a handball, once you see the slow motion replay. But that's not the way the game is played. The game is not played slow motion, it's played at full speed. And that's how the decision should have been made. It's not a penalty, but I sympathize with the referee because when he's, once he's called over and he sees it, and obviously there is doubt in his mind, so it's not clear and obvious, he went, he went, he yeah. went, then he went to leave and came back. He didn't know himself, but he saw the slow motion and was convinced by it. You're right. Here's a pro you're right. You're right, Ali. Here's the problem with, and I like. I quite. I think Vaz's been super in this. Good. It's yeah, not always good. been. It's not always, Look, Vaz's never been wrong. Yes, the referee. The referee. We can stop it. But Vaz's there to help implement. So it's it's not Vaz that's making decisions. But here's the issue that I've got here because you damned if you do, if you damned if you don't. Had had the four four or five officials, however many has sat in the control room. Had they not referred it to the referee, there would have been an outcry. But in doing so, Ali makes the point is correct, in doing so, they've literally stitched him up because they're just shoveling it onto him and yeah. saying, listen. And now in his mind, he's thinking, well, they're telling me to look at this, so they think it's apparently... So it becomes convoluted in your own mind subconsciously, and I think that's the point that he got to, whereas I think the four officials in the control room should have had a conversation between themselves quickly and said, look, this is not a penalty. We'll just take it completely out of the ref's control and we'll turn to play the game on. Uh, briefly, Gab. No, all I wanted to say was uh, uh, they did have a conversation amongst themselves, so that's, that's what they do. I, I agree with Craig that probably wasn't a penalty, but there's another situation where they would call the referee over, and that is if, it, if, if he hasn't seen it. So 
I think the likeliest situation, hopefully we'll find out exactly what happened, is they looked at it, they said, we don't think it's a penalty. Uh, Nestor Pitana, referee, did you see this clearly? And if he said, no, I did not see it clearly, then he goes over, mm. not because it's a clear and obvious error, but simply because he didn't see it properly, then he goes over. And by the way, he does, he does see it, as Peter, so, Peter Walton mentioned, he sees it and evaluates it at full speed, not in slow motion.